On every space mission, astronauts wave proudly as they make their way to the launch pad, enter the shuttle, and blast off into space. Sequence start. But before any of this can happen, the shuttle must make it to the launch pad, and it takes the world's biggest land vehicle to get it there. Even though it looks like I'm going up the gangplank on some vacation cruise on a big boat, I'm really heading up to the cab one on crawler transporter one. The only two crawler transporters in the world were designed in the 1960s to move the Apollo flight hardware from the hangar to the launch pad. They're still going strong today. Each crawler is 131 feet long and 114 feet wide, weighs six million pounds, and moves on four double tracks, each 10 feet high and 40 feet long. If you took and put the center of this truck over home plate, that would be first base, that would be second base, this would be third. This is the muffler, one of two that's on the crawler. If you don't run down to Midas and pick one of these up. Even the shoes that make up each belt or track are massive. This shoe weighs approximately 2,400 pounds. There are 57 of these per belt. It has a 90 pound pin that holds them together. Traveling at less than a mile per hour, the aptly named crawler takes over three hours to reach the launch pad three miles away and it gets terrible gas mileage. In comparison to a car, with about a 10 or 12 gallon tank, you'll get about 300 miles to it. We average approximately 127 gallons to the mile. And the crawler's tracks take a toll on the road. This is the damage that happens when the crawler rolls over a roadway. Uh, it weighs about six million pounds, and the sheer size of it causes this type of damage. That's why the crawler has its own private roadway, a road as wide as an eight-lane highway, and solid enough to support its colossal weight. A good driver helps too. To drive the crawler, you get a feeling where you've got a whole lot of vehicle at your hands. The amount of responsibility, if you think about it, can be overwhelming, but you try not to think about it. There's a total of seven engineers at present that drive the crawler and we rotate on shifts. Each, each engineer will take a turn driving from one roadway or one landmark to another. And with a 12 million pound load to transport, the drivers rely on the control room to lift and dock the shuttle. We can pick up 12 million pounds, which is the space shuttle itself and the mobile launch platform, which the shuttle sits on top of, with just the flick of this one switch. With all systems running and all its giant parts intact, the crawler will continue to play its part in space exploration for years to come. <laughs>